Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Just wanted to wish you all a very happy uh, 4th of July weekend. I know a lot of you are planning to uh, see family, to go grilling, maybe to uh, go swimming, or even to just you know watch the fireworks. And so uh, as this weekend is approaching and many of us are feeling very patriotic, uh, I wanted to kind of touch on uh, the first part of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, a lo that, that phrase, I think, is something that a lot of us have memorized. And it's the part that says that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all are created equal, and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. And among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And you know, in that sentence, in that first phrase, there's two words that really stand out to me as being words that you and I just don't use that much in our day-to-day -day life. I mean, the first one is endowed, right? What does endowed mean? Well, endowed means that it's something that was given to you by birth. So it's something you didn't earn. It's something that uh, you didn't work for or fight for. It's something that you have simply because you're a human being. You were born with this. So it's an endowed thing. And the second word is unalienable. Uh, what does that mean? Well, uh, unalienable means that there are rights that you have that you can't give away. So there's things that are uh, inherent to you that you can't give away, that you can't sell, that you have certain rights that are yours by birth and that cannot ever be taken away from you. You know, and it just kind of reminds me of a, a passage that Paul wrote in the book of Galatians. It was Galatians 3.28. He says, therefore, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. That sounds a lot like all are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. And, you know, I think whenever you read the Bible, the Bible is as equal and as fair as possible. Because in the ancient world, people had already divided themselves in a lot of different ways. And so the Jesus movement and what it means to be a Christian is totally different than any other culture or, or faith. And I think while culture around us, it seeks to find ways to divide us, right? The church should always be leading the charge in the, in the total opposite direction because in Christ, we are all one. And you know, just like America, our nation set out to be different than everybody else. Everyone else had a king, everyone else had slaves, but America was built on settlers, explorers, fearless refugees who came here seeking one thing, and that's independence, you know, freedom, equality, uh, things we believe in, things that we believe are endowed to each person. Not because they earned it, not because they fought for it, but we believe that we are created with rights, rights born with us, unalienable rights. Hey, this Sunday at Walden Church, we're going to talk about the Declaration of Independence, and we're just going to celebrate uh, the 4th of July and what it means to be an American. I hope to see you there.